Hey guys, it's one fire here back again with of course a bit more into the virtual pet world as I had said I would go into. Oh, of course, this week is the Letter C week, and for this episode, I'm going to go ahead and just show off tutorials for the Letter C games that we have in our list, which, of course, is Chica Pets, Complete Horse Nuts, Creature Breedings, Creature World, and Chromi Me Chrome, Chrome Cage, I believe. Of course, in each of the sites, I have put in the forum section my yo from YouTube, so if you guys are looking at this video and you're like, hey, continue on this site because there's this and this and this and this and this to do, just put that in the comment section down below, and of course, I will get back to the game and finish it up throughout the week. Um, and of course, the people that have already subscribed, if you guys want to see more of a certain um, pet website, let me know. Because of course, I will get into these sites, I'll show off how they work, and the different pets that are available. But for now, I'm not really going to go into the sites unless someone says, hey, this is the site you should continue on with. I'm just going to go show off tutorials so you guys see how to play the sites, and if you guys say, hey, this is, site has cool artwork, this site has cool pets, I want to go ahead and look at it, show me more one fire. Literally, that's all you got to do is hashtag show me more in the comment section down below. That's all you got to do. <laughs> oh, make sure you put, of course, the website that I should show you more of. So, let's go ahead and continue and get on with this episode. First off, we have Chica Pets. So, welcome to Chica Pets and our fun and friendly community. On Chica Pets, you can create your very own free virtual pets, dress up your character, play flash games, and join in all the fun in the friendly community atmosphere. Chica Pets has many lines to explore, lots of items to collect, and use with your pets. You can keep them happy and help them grow by grooming and feeding them and even using your pooper scooper. Yes, we even have a pooper scooper, especially when they make the big giant ones that are smelly and mushy. Yes, yes, we have a pooper scooper to clean up after them uh, when they poop. Of course, I already said that. We have a pooper scooper. No other site probably has a pooper scooper, right? Okay, maybe your pet would love to read all the books we have. Or perhaps you'll prefer to train them and send them into battle. Join in with our friendly community by joining a club, posting on the forums and the chat box. Make friends or share your hobbies and interests and send them emails. As well as daily freebies like Mumbly Joe and Sad Mermaid. There are many games to play. We have our 100 games, a grapple tron machine. Yeah, you know, like the, the things you get to grab little balls with and you get prizes, right? Okay. We also have pick a box and more. We have a number of different quests you can do, which are limited. You can do as many times as you want today, so you can win lots of trophies. Like to collect? Look no further. As well as tons of items you could collect for your galleries. We have collections, avatars, clothing to fill with your wardrobe, and dress up your characters. Trophies and more. So, that's the beginning of Chica Pets. No tutorial. Hmm, maybe there was a story I just messed up. Uh, let's see, Chica Pets is this one. So yeah, there is a tutorial. I, I remember I messed up. So we're going to go ahead and go to the tutorial now. <laughs> this was actually the first page that came up. I went ahead and went to the very first page, which describes how the website works. So let's see. Look, there's news. And click OK. Let's see what news there is for this site. Uh, news and headlines. News and headlines. Chica Pets, the best viewed with Google Chrome or Firefox. Please welcome and congratulate our newest staff member, Rufa, Ru, Rufus Cat and Paladin. Don't forget to invite your friends, the newest member. Oh god, I'm the newest member. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of craziness going on. It says I'm the newest member. <laughs> okay, updates. Uh, Emily has taken over the running of the FX store found in the Chica City. Okay, so there's a lot of different things going on here. That word looks kind of cutesy. But notice, you have not adopted a pet. Now go here. There's a giant. There's, it doesn't even look like it's clippable. But okay, you can go here and adopt a pet today. So let's go ahead and get a pet going. Of course, I'd probably get a notification a bit because I did go to the forums and post it on there saying I'd have a pet. So let's see, we have a cat owler. We have a Trogit, I don't know what that is, um, a Dragonfly, a Romos, a Hynir, a Dragaza, you, you see this? A Kidlers, Hootie, Wingufa, Raquito, 
Yetizen Kroabu Aquagagaris Spifox Ratice the Rabbit the Jack Horse Goggling Tumis Rockley the Mooley Root uh Lu the Luskis 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 I believe Deplar, which are limited pets, so available randomly. The Okiri, which are limited pets, so available randomly during the Halloween era. Uh, the Lispit, the Wubbles, the Gorik, the Peewee, Babu, which also limited, and the Peewee's limited, and the Tigrin. I'm actually going to go with the Rabbit. That's the cutest one I saw in here. So, Rabbit, you're going to create the pet. We're creating ourselves a Rabbit. A Rabbit Rabbit. So we're gonna name your pet, um, Dupler. It's a male rabbit named Dupler. Okay, congratulations, you have a new pet named Dupler. So where do we go from here? There's Dupler's book list, Dupler's gumball collection, Dupler's toy collection, Dupler's gourmet foods. Um, it says it's not hungry yet. Pfft, nothing else really left to do. Uh, let's see this tutorial. Do we go back to tutorial, maybe? already created a pet so uh okay here we go oh god this is gonna be a long tutorial <laughs> hopefully i can get to the other sites throughout this tutorial you'll be able to follow links all the links will be open in new windows or tabs so you don't have to worry about losing the tutorial page you woke up hot hungry and thirsty the warm sun is shining down on your body where, where, where am i you mutter to yourself you sit up and take in your surroundings, you appear to be in a beautiful deserted island, but wait, what's that in the distance? You squint your eyes and bring your hand over your forehead, shaded, shading the sun as you peer through the shadowy trees. There's something moving, and it doesn't look human. You're so caught up in watching the shadowy being through the trees, you don't even notice the gruff-looking fisherman behind you. Ahem. I see we have a new, another one of you washed up. Be sure, then. Startled, you turn around and look up in the old craggly face with kind blue eyes. Who, who are you? You stammer. Why, I be the captain, and who might you be? You gruff the kind old man. Still dazed and confused, it takes you a few seconds to gather your thoughts, but you manage to squeak out a response. Why, my name is Wanfire. Where in the hell am I? You ask. Ye be on Cheek Island, best home a man can have. But ye be looking a bit cold there in ye skivvies. And I bet ye a wee bit hungry and thirsty too, hi. You nod your head, and yes, you wrap your arms around yourself as you realize you are only in your underwear. Oh god, that's kind of embarrassing. Oh, literally, OMG, how embarrassing. <laughs> I said it to myself as I was reading that. You best be coming with me, said the captain as he pointed in the direction of the lighthouse. You guess you better follow him and learn more about where you are. Continue. Wait for the page to load. You take us in the lighthouse and eagerly await for the captain. You eagerly await what the captain has to tell you about this strange new place you've washed up on. You'll probably be here for quite some time. Ships don't come here as often as some of the other places. So you best listen up as I tell you some basic survival skills, said the captain in a rather stern voice, like he had a to tell the story a hundred times or something. Probably has a hundred or probably five hundred times. I don't know how many people are on this site. He hands you some gold coins and explains these here la CP. Oh, chica points. It's the main can it's yield on this island. Ye be needing this to get yourself started buying clothes and food and what not. You look at the lovely glistening coins mesmerized and wondering where you can get more. Uh, more, more, more. But you keep your cool and ask, you casually ask the captain, uh, where would I find more of these? Of course, I believe I have like 10,000. Yeah, I have like 10,327 of them. Don't know how many got me. Don't know how I got that many, but hey, I guess the captain gave them to me. The captain looks to the floor and shakes his head. 
Aye, ye all be the same. Ye all want to be millionaires. Well, I tell you how to get more. Ye work for em. Ye play games. Ye sell things to other fine patrons of Chica Island. And sometimes ye're just to have to be plain or lucky. Hmm, this this place seems sounds interesting. You say eagerly to explore. What do you suggest I do first, Captain? He hands you a sack and says, Keep this with you. It for putting your things in. It be here. It be your inventory sack. And there's things inside to help you get started. But if I were to be new to this place and in the state you'd be in, I'd be getting myself some clothes and decent food. You can find shops all over the island, selling things and that. Not to mention there'd be loads of places for newcomers like yourself, giving things away for free. But you will have to explore to find them all. Maybe start your search at the charity store. Yep, I'd be finding where I can get things for free before I waste my sea points in the shops. The captain pauses and stares out across the horizon in deep thought. Come to think of it, perhaps young Jellicoe up in the sh villages can tell you about the free meals. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, the charity shop. What should it? Okay, it opens up in a new tab. Check out the charity shop. Um, so there's some small things in here. Let's go ahead and get uh, red board shorts. Is, can we just like, is there a way to, uh, I don't know. Maybe just click on it? I think I just click on it. Okay, so I got it. Okay, you can choose one item every 15 minutes. So we'll come back after we go ahead and read some more of the tutorial. There's also another thing he gave me, the inventory sack, which opened up a new tab as well. Um... My items. Okay, so we got the t-shirt. Is there a way to use this? Like, put it on my person? Uh, change your undertop. Use it. So now we have a shirt on and underwear. Perfection. <laughs> no pants, no shoes, no service, right? I don't know. No, there's no shirt. No shirt, no shoes, no service. We have a shirt on, so we're good. <laughs> Let's go see Jericho, guys. You travel along the dirt path for about, for what seems like hours, as you finally come to the, to a small village. I can't get the captain's voice out of my head. As you near the village entrance, a young gypsy looking man jumps out from his tent. You guess this is probably that Jericho guy the captain's talking about. And just in case it's not, you don't say anything. Hello there! Do you have pieces of my amulet? asked the man. You look at him and ask with confused voice, Amulet? I'm sorry, I don't know what the amulet is. The captain sent me here to find Jericho. The man does a funny little dance, spins around, and does a bow. He says, I am Jericho, and who might you be? My name is Wanfire, and I'm new here, he says. He said you can help me find some food. Ah, yes. You look like you could do with the good feed. Well, here on Chica Island, we can try and take care of everyone and their pets by offering free food three times a day over there. He said pointing at a small wooden hut. Pets, you ask excitedly, which I've just created. Oopsies. <laughs> I mean, yes, you're hungry and need food, but pets? That's way more interesting. Yes, everyone on Chica Island has pets. Even pets have pets called companions, he says. Excitedly, you ask, where can I get a pet from? Well, you can create a pet, or you can adopt a pet from the adoption agency. Or you can even find wild pets. They are quite rare, but either searching the forest or fishing in the pond. That sounds awesome, and I can't wait to get a pet. But what's this amulet you mentioned before? He asks curiously. Well, it's a family heirloom, and I'm afraid it's broken into nine pieces. If you can find all nine pieces and give them to me, I will cast a spell on one of your pets every day, forever and ever, explains Jericho. Intrigued, you ask, what kind of spell? All kinds. I'm very, very magical, you know. 
I can change its color, its species, upgrade, or degrade its stats, all sorts of things. Well, I've ever been known to change their name, he says laughing. Well, if I see any, I will be sure to bring them to you. But do you know where I can might find some clothes? I'm a bit chilly, you ask. Jericho thinks for a bit and points in the direction of the farm. Let's go and go to the farm. Of course, I'm probably going to make this... I'm going to split these episodes up, guys. You guys see we do have a few more games up here to go to. Yeah, okay. You follow the path to the cutest little farm you ever did see. Outside sits a fat man with a jolly face. Hi, my name's Wanfire, you say as you extend your hand for a handshake. But the old man doesn't shake it. Instead, he pulls your finger. What the? You exclaim. The old man extends his finger to you and says, Pull it! Pull it! You shrug your shoulders and yank on his fingers. And yank on his grubby stubby finger. Brrrr. Oh, God. Why, dude? It, it smells now. Was that what you think it was? You said to yourself as you sniff the ripe air around you. Oh, gee, it is. It is. The old man just farted. Like, really? Why? <sighs> Dude, like, why would you just fart in my face like that? Okay, what else? You don't know whether to laugh or cry at the very strange situation. As you stand there looking quite bewildered, you hear an old woman's voice. Joe, are you bothering the young folk again? You turn to see a sweet old lady carrying a pie. That must be Mrs. Mumbly, you think, and dash straight over, straight over, glad to be away from the stench surrounding the old man. Now, how in the world do we know about Mrs. Mumbly? Because... We weren't told about Mrs. Mumbly. Just correction in the writing, guys. If you, if you people here on uh, Chica Pets are looking at this, I didn't hear anything about Mrs. Mumbly from either of the first two characters. But moving on. Hi, my name is One Fire. You splutter out eagerly. Are you Mrs. Mumbly? Why, yes, I am, dearie. What can I do for you? She acts kindly. You tell her everything right from the start when you woke up on the shores of Cheeks. Uh, guys, it's Chica. You guys put an S in there. Chica Island. Oh, and you have had an adventure, but I'm sure there will be plenty more waiting just around the corner, she says with a wink. You spy her clothes line and notices there are quite a few fashionable items, not something you can imagine an old couple wearing. She notices you eyeing off the clothes, eyeing off the clothing, and says, Little beggars come all day long, stealing my clothes. I think you guys meant little buggers, not little beggars, but okay. They come to visit my husband, Joe, and while they are here, they snatch them while I'm not looking, she says sadly. You ask her why everyone comes to visit her husband. You can't for the life of you imagine why anyone would want to. She tells you all about Joe's affliction to eating cabbages, cabbage soup, cabbage sandwiches, cabbage pie. If it's got cabbages in it, he will eat it. She explains how the cabbage makes him bloated and he needs help. So asking anyone and everyone who wanders past to please pull his finger in exchange he gives them prizes. So wait, we have to make this guy fart to give us prizes. Are they coming out of his butt? Like, what? But okay, tell you what. She's eyeing you up and down in this in your skivvies. Pop on over to the clothesline and help yourself to something. You look cold in your underwear. This old lady's eyeing me in my underwear. Okay, okay, just leave that off. You thank her as she walks off to cool her pie on the window seal. Guys, I'm seeing all these links right now. I'm just wondering what the heck's going on. You spot some swirling smoke in the sky and decide to head in that direction. So, first off, let's go and pull the old man's finger and see what we can get. Mumble, Mumbly Joe. Hi, I'm Mumbly Joe, and I've got a surprise for you. All you gotta do is pull my finger. You know, you know you want to. I don't want to. Uh, do we just click on him? Click on his hand. Okay, we want a palm shield. Okay. Palm shield. Done. My eye, I'm just going to get rid of that. Of course, charity store. We'll come back to that later. Also, there was a... Let's pull the finger. It's clothesline to get some actual clothes for us to wear. Life of the farmer's wife. Uh, 
Quick, she isn't looking. Do we steal clothes? Steal these? Just steal those right off the line? Okay, I got a, a dress? Is there a way I can still grab some stuff? She's not looking. Can I get some more stuff? I just don't cheat. Okay, so I got a dress. I'm not sure if I can actually put that on my character, but I'll I'll take a look at it. Of course, I haven't. Seen, there's the window seal, which I'm guessing I can steal her pie. Every day, Mrs. Mully bakes a delicious pie or two and places them on the window seal to stay cool. If you're lucky enough, she has plenty left. She will give you a slice to eat and feed your pets. Okay. Um. Oh, I see the smell of the pie cooling the window seal has got your attention. Here, here you go. This one seems cool enough to eat, so we'll reach out and take the pie. This one is giving you a hearty berry meringue pie. Okay, so we got food now. Moving on. Of course, I'm going to have to cut this episode. <sighs> Goodness. You come across a small area of buildings, and as you follow the path around, you spot a funny-looking creature. You hope he doesn't bite and tries to walk past quickly. But just as you pass, you hear him say, Hello! You spin your head around and look at the creature. Nah. Couldn't. Could not. Couldn't. Nah. Couldn't. Hold on. Nah. Couldn't have been him. Couldn't have been him. Could it? Okay. No. Couldn't have been him. Could it? Sorry, I just I couldn't understand what was going on there. The little creature waves you and says, Hi, I'm Billy. I haven't seen you around here before. You're so shocked that the little creature talks, but on close on closer look, on closer look, he's too adorable, and you doubt that he could be dangerous. So you wave back and smile. Do you need anything? Let me go find it for you," says Billy eagerly. "Um, what do you mean?" you ask. "Well, I'm Billy, the bargaining beaver, and I find things for people, shops." All over Chica Island. Let me know what shop to go to and buy things, exclaims Billy. Oh, wow. I will remember you to come. I will remember to come see you next time I need to buy something. I'm kind of new here and I don't really know much about this place yet, you explain. Well, be sure to open up a shop as soon as you can. It's a good way to start making some extra CP, says Billy. Oh, I'd love to own my own shop. I hope it's easy, you say. Maybe once you finish exploring, you should go talk to the smart bat. He can answer almost any questions you have, says Billy. Oh, thank you, Billy. You have been most helpful. But one last question. What are those buildings and I'm allowed in them, you ask? Well, you can't enter any buildings on Chica Island. All you need to do is click on the door and go inside. Oh, well, you can enter the buildings. No, I said you can't. Okay, thanks, Billy. <clears throat> You say as you continue on your journey on Chica Island. So there is, of course, the smart bot, and we need to open up a shop. So we're going to open up a shop real quick. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to name it Virtual... Virtual... Stocks. That sounds cool. Virtual Stocks. Then we're going to create the shop. Cost 250 points. We got that, obviously. Your shop has been created. Okay, that's done. Moving on. Uh, Billy the Bargain Beaver. So we can send him to find stuff. Okay, containing the word. Oh, okay, so he just looked. He's just basically the, the search area. Okay, but continuing on. Okay, I'm not going to put all these. <laughs> I'm not going to put all these in one episode. Explore you guy. And to explore the map, simply hold down the mouse button and move your mouse around. When you see an area you would like to visit, click on it. Okay. Um, using your phone or iPad, try to explore below. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing that's the end of the tutorial. Those are just the places you can go to, and uh, that's about it. Um, remember I said we can find pets in the forest. So let's see if we can find a pet in the forest right quick. I don't know if there's more to the tutorial or not. Oh, that's one creepy old lady. Uh, there's a pet back here. You're gonna fight him? Whoa! Oh, why not? We have our first pet. For the ending of this episode. 
Let's go ahead and fight. Use which attack? Uh, charge attack. We're getting a very first fight for the ending of this episode. Okay, this is not looking too good. I don't think we're going to win this. I honestly don't think we're going to win this. Yeah, we did, we're only doing one attack. Can we run? Are you sure? Yes, we're going to run from the enemy. <laughs> he is knocking us on our butt. The winner, okay. Uh, So, by default, winners, please try again soon. Okay. So, he can win. I'm, I'm not, I don't really want to kill off my pet right now. Let's see. There's also the explore area. There is now the news. There's Chica Mail. Let's see if we get a, a, a letter by any chance for this game. There's one unread message out of all of our messages. Oh, it's not unread. One message out of 50. Um, there's nothing in my inbox, so... I don't know. Maybe that's just a typo or something. There's just no message in here, so... That's all that's really going on. Of course, there's, uh, there's the bank. There's, of course, games. There is the money shop. There is the shop till for our own shop. And there's search users and pets. So, this has been Chica Pets. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video right now. Of course, it's been about 25 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next few games. Hopefully, their tutorials aren't as long as this tutorial was. But you guys saw what there all was. Of course, in the explore area, it'll have everybody. More than likely, it has everybody in there. Uh, we went to the farm. See, there's the city. There's the farm. There's the forest. Uh, where else did we stop? Did we stop by the village? And then we stopped by the village, and I believe Billy's there. There's also these other places here. So, you guys come check this out. Let me know if I should continue what's going on here. But, uh, other than that, I'll move on to, uh, the next couple of games we got.